Hello friends, welcome to Tech Lake video tutorials. In this video, I am going to give you a few important interview questions related to Synapse Data Warehouse. Or you can say uh, Synapse Dedicated SQL Pool or there is a old name called SQL Data Warehouse. It is SQL Server Data Warehouse. So primarily we are using in cloud, cloud uh, data lake concept which is available in Synapse Analytics or only warehouse also we can go with a separate product as called a Dedicated SQL Pool. So when it comes to dedicated SQL pool, it is completely MPP architecture. Okay, so there are many services are available. Uh, like when it comes to multiple vendors are providing a similar kind of concept like Teradata and Snowflake SQL. And so there are different companies are providing similar kind of architecture. So in traditional data warehousing, so they are adding with massively parallel processing, then they are providing. Uh, uh, full-fledged service for data warehousing when it comes to big data point of view or uh, handling huge amount of data. So basically you can expect interview questions here. What is the MPP architecture? So you need to explain complete MPP architecture of why we are choosing MPP architecture and how background process it will work and how data it will split and process when it comes to MPP. So when it comes to Synapse dedicated SQL pool is completely MPP architecture. So which it will have a so maximum 60 node, maximum 60 node cluster and 60 distributions. Always remember, so one node, 60 distributions, so 60 parallel distributions. Or you can go with 60 node, 60 node and each node one distribution. So total distributions 60 only but you can go with one node or two node, three node, five node like this. So this is complete internal architecture where when you are storing data in Synapse dedicated SQL pool, it will distribute your data into 60 distributions. If it is single node, that node will have a 60 distributions. If it is a two node, one node 30 distributions, another node 30 distributions. That is called completely MPP massively parallel processing. So when you are loading data, it will parallelly distribute your data into 60 distributions. It will distribute your data into 60 distributions. It may be one node or it may be more than one node. Maximum capacity is 60 node. So 60 node when we are going with that one node, one distribution. If you are going with the one node means only 60 distributions, two node. If you are going with a two node, then 30 plus 30, 30 distribution in one node, 30 distribution in another node. So like this, it will distribute the data. Then how it will distribute the data? So you can expect another question saying that, what are the types of distributions in Synapse data warehouse? What are the types of distributions? So there are three types of distributions are available. Those are round robin, round robin default, then hash distribution, has distribution and replicate. So replicate or broadcast, you can call it these are three types of distribution types which it will distribute your data and it will process. Then immediately you can expect a few questions related to these distributions. What is round robin? What is has distribution? What is replicate? So has is a major distribution which based on hash algorithm it will distribute the data. So for that you need to provide one column. So one primary key column we need to provide as of now it is supporting only one column but nested column maybe it will come in future so you need to provide one column for distributing your data so based on hash key it will distribute your data that is called hash distribution so primarily they are suggesting that huge tables data huge tables if you have a more than 100 million records more than 100 million records then it is suggest to go with hash distribution at least 60 million so 60 million means one distribution 1 million data minimum so if you have a huge transaction tables then choose hash distribution then what is round robin when we will go with so round robin is a distribution where uh, your data will get uh, sorted based on round robin algorithm and it will be distributed your data into 60 distributions then when we will go with the round robin means primarily staging tables. So if you have a staging tables where we will store the data then we will process. So that time it is best for staging tables. Best for staging tables are less than 
uh, 1 million data or less than 10 million data, then better to go with round robin distributions. Then what is a replicate distribution? So replicate distribution primarily, if we have a dimension tables, which is frequently you're joining with the transaction tables. So you can go with a replicate distribution that is a broadcast. So replicate distribution, what will happen? The same data will copy into all the nodes. Okay. So replicate distribution, same data. So same data will copy into all the distributions to improve the query performance when you are joining with fact table. When you are joining with the fact table. So that's why we will go with a dimension tables. So whatever you have a dimension table, so better to choose a replicate distribution. Then there is a different types of indexes are available. So you can expect one question related to CCI. Cluster, columnar store index. Cluster, columnar store index. So what is this index and when we will go for this index? So when you are using hash distribution, so hash distribution, which is having huge data, when you are querying this huge data to get a faster way, to get a faster way, what we will do, we can choose this cluster columnar store index on fact tables primarily then it will give better performance for query okay so fact tables so fact tables primarily more querying table so more querying table so frequently whatever table you are querying in your business data then choose this cluster column of stored index you need to select particular column then that column will have a data that column data will compressed and stored as a columnar format so that's why you will get a better performance but when you have a more dml operations it will degrade your table performance so whenever you are doing a more dml operations so that time it is not suggested so cca index is suggested for less dml more query less dml means less operations then more querying so that time it is suggested then if you are knowing full load also full load also it is not suggested full load means sometimes we will drop table we will insert entire data so if you are loading full load also cca index is not suggested then you have to go with the batch okay batch process so that is about cca index then how we will choose distribution while creating a tuple while creating a table how we will choose a distribution so this is also whatever we covered the same thing is applicable for staging tables we will go with round robin for dimension tables we will go with replicate for fact tables which is a huge having huge data we will go with the hash distribution so this way we will choose we will identify the tables then we will create a distribution types then there is another question we can expect CTAS and CETAS okay so what is this and when we will use this so create table as query create external table as query simple create table as your query or create external table as query so whatever you have a table query you can create a table from SQL query so synapse supports that so whenever you have a we have a requirement for incremental data there may be full load so this is best suggested option you can go with create table or create table external table syntax then you can create a table based on query and it will be created it will be created and it will support all options okay that is called create table as query or create external table as query so that's about you can expect interview question then different types of indexes this is also very important so when it comes to performance tuning when it comes to different types of distributions which index we will choose and which index we will use and based on your data based on your requirement you can choose these all types of indexes so cluster index non-cluster index okay non-cluster index and CCA so cluster columnar store index CCA also available and heap index so these are different types of indexes are available but when it comes to non-clustered index primarily 
other than dedicated pool we will go with the sql server but if you are it is a dedicated pool we'll go with the clustered index in that clustered index normal clustered index cca also is available as i told you cca primarily will go with the fact tables okay which is having more than minimum 60 million records okay minimum 60 or maybe minimum 100 million records if you have then this table is suggested and then that too if you are doing more querying if you are doing more dml operations this index is not suggested okay then if you are going to use the same index to improve the query performance then you need to go with batch load so batch load means you need to split your data then you need to process otherwise you will get a oom issue out of memory issue out of memory issue because it's need more memory the customer column stored index need more memory when you are processing data so you may face many issues related to memory so that's you need to remember when you are going with cci index then clustered index anyway normal index where your distribution data will work and you will get a better performance for fact tables or dimension tables also we can go for this then heap index primarily staging tables so heap index doesn't need any column blindly it will create a heap then it will distribute the data so when it comes to round robin so round robin will go with the heap index default or we can go with clustered indexes as well so when, when it comes to clustered indexes we need to specify a particular column unique combination column so that based on that column data it will distribute your data so these all are a different types of indexes in synapse data warehouse or you can say sql data warehouse or synapse dedicated sql pill if you like this video please subscribe my channel and please click on bell icon to get the latest updates from my channel thank you for watching my videos and all the best